place our trust in the hands of those who wield the gavel and don the robes of justice? The answer, of course, should be a resounding yes. However, as with any human institution, the judicial system is not immune to corruption. Should we stumble upon instances of judicial misconduct, it's crucial to know how to proceed. The first step in addressing corruption in the judiciary is recognizing it. Judicial corruption can manifest in various ways, from judges accepting bribes to make certain rulings, to showing bias towards one party in a case. It's important to note that not all unfavorable rulings are a result of corruption. Judges are human and can make mistakes. However, if there's a pattern of questionable behavior, it might be worth looking into. Once suspicious activity is identified, the next step is to gather evidence. This could be in the form of financial records, witness testimonies, or even a judge's inconsistent rulings. The more concrete and comprehensive the evidence, the stronger the case against the judge will be. The third step is to report the suspected judicial corruption. In the United States, for instance, this can be done through the Judicial Conduct and Disability Act. This law allows any person to file a complaint about a federal judge's conduct to the appropriate judicial counsel. Other countries have similar mechanisms in place. After reporting, it's time to take action. This could involve hiring a lawyer and filing a lawsuit against the judge, or engaging in public advocacy to bring attention to the issue. Remember, the goal is not just to punish the individual judge, but also to foster transparency and accountability in the judicial system as a whole. Lastly, be prepared for the potential backlash. Standing up against corruption, especially in powerful institutions, is not without its risks. It's important to have a support system in place and to be ready for potential personal and professional consequences. In summary, fighting judicial corruption involves recognizing the signs of corruption, gathering evidence, reporting the misconduct, taking action, and preparing for the potential fallout. It's a daunting task, but one that is vital for upholding the integrity of the judicial system. After all, the scales of justice should balance fairly and squarely, and those who tip them should be held accountable. The fight against corruption is not just about individuals, but about maintaining the credibility and trustworthiness of our courts and the rule of law. Remember, 